I've got my groceries and I'm gonna get my gas and uh, let's go to Death Valley. Here we are in Death Valley. Um, death does feel kind of imminent, I'm not gonna lie. There is a heat here that you just cannot escape. <clears throat> yeah, it'll get you. So I am going to go to Furnace Creek right now and uh, check out the little village there and probably hike around maybe Zubristi Point and uh, maybe a couple other spots, I'm not too sure, but, um, but I really need to find a campsite for tonight because I don't want to save that until tonight and then run around trying to find a spot to sleep. It's toasty. It's deadly. It's sandy. It's mountainous. It, there's just so many mountains. It's, it's insane. Um, all right, so I just claimed my campsite for the night. I am staying in Furnace Creek and the name is pretty accurate. I think uh, it's supposed to be like 70 tonight. The low tonight is 70, 73, I think. Which is pretty insane because I think uh, last night I was sleeping in 45, 50 degree weather and tonight it'll be 70 some and I think uh, tomorrow's high is into the triple digits. So uh, this is definitely going to be an interesting experience here at Death Valley. I'm actually going to leave the campground. It's only about 4.30 so I've still got a little bit of daylight. All right, so this level is where the Badwater Basin sits. And if you see that little sign up there on the side of the mountain, that is sea level. So you can imagine, I think we're 280 some feet below sea level. It's kind of a cool graphic up there. All right, so I just pulled up to a site called Natural Bridge. I don't know what to expect. I assume it's, it's a bridge, but uh, I haven't seen any pictures or anything like that. So I'm gonna hop on the trail. Sunset is probably 40 minutes away or so, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get going on this one and go back to the campsite and make some pasta. So this is the land bridge that the mammoths used in the second ice age. So I just got back to the truck um, and was kind of getting ready to go. I'm actually going to go do the artist, uh, artist's drive, I think is what it's called. Before I left, I heard the sound of um, gravel crunching, like somebody was turning the wheel. And I looked to the left and the car next to me, the front tires are just going crazy, like shh, shh, shh. And then I look up into the window, like what's going on? And I just see a kid behind the wheel, cranking on the wheel, like, you know, play driving. And it wasn't until about three seconds later that I saw his dad back behind him, sitting in the driver's seat. But, but there for a hot second, I definitely thought it was a uh, Ricky Bobby situation. And that kid would, you know, I wanna go fast and just like shoot off into the desert. I survived the night. The window's fully open. Um, I was able to cool off and, and get to bed. Also, you know the place is especially brutal when there is a dehydration urine chart in the bathroom. I have never seen that anywhere else. But like right as you walk in, it's like, what shade of yellow were you today? Do you need to drink more water? It went all the way to like black orange. And at that point, um, I think you probably need to, to get some medical help. But uh, yeah, drink your fluids.
spots. This is a beautiful spot. It's just really hot. So uh, if you can prepare for that and if you can manage that well, you're going to have an awesome time out here. So, all right, I gotta get to it. I am here. I am going to walk. <laughs> That's the sound it makes when I walk. And then I'm going to go out and around Manly Beacon. Interesting name. And then I'm going to find myself at the Golden Canyon Trailhead. Loop around, follow the highway here. Down this way is actually where I was last night at the Badwater Basin. I'm going to follow Gower Gulch. Back through the Badlands Loop. Back to the parking lot. Rick. Aiden, today I am going to avenge you guys for what happened out here that fateful night. About to get real. Buckle up. Guess they're gonna make me in this one on an uphill. So it goes. See, I used to be an orange guy through and through, but this glacier freeze is pretty bomb. Check it out. It's time to hit the road and it's time to head to Las Vegas. That's right, I am feeling lucky today. So, I'm gonna make the trip. <laughs> 